Hey y'all, it's Kika, your lifestyle blogger. And I'm standing here by my vision board. Now this vision board I created in January of 2021. And since we are a little over the halfway point, I wanna to talk to you about what has came to life by focusing and having this on the back of my door. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and speak. So keep watching, more video footage coming up. Hey guys, this is my vision board. And I created this in January of 2021. So a couple things that you could probably see that has already came true on my vision board. And I'm just gonna kind of zoom in on the car. So I did end up getting this car. I got actually a green one, 2003. And fixed it up, put a little money into it. A lot lower miles than the previous um, SUV that I had. I had a Porsche Cayenne that had 227,000 miles on it. I bought this with 137,000 miles on it. And so now I am currently at, mm, I think 153. I do sales and marketing, so I do drive around a lot. I do get mileage reimbursement from my job, but um, this has came in handy, especially going to the cabin. And if you see that, notice that roof rack on top, I did end up getting that on mine as well. So mine sits outside and I have this one. All right, so let's move along to the dog. I did end up getting my dog. I didn't name him Oliver. I named him Tigger. He is actually a merle color, which means he's the tricolor like the one that you see here, but he is actually a gray, black and white um, kind of mix color but he looks just like this um, but I figured Tigger was the best name because I already have Winston which I make call Winston Winnie the Pooh for short so this is my Tigger too all right so we're gonna move over here to this hot dog stand for my boyfriend I really wanted him to have one because I'm gonna start focusing on my food truck pretty soon or my food trailer and so this hot dog stand, I actually bought him one just like this. I found it, I was surprised. But I did renovate it, so it's now silver. Um, so I'll show you some pictures at the end of what that looks like. But there's my hot potato food truck. I have not started working on her yet, but that is my plan um, next. So hopefully I'll get some, some work in before the end of the year. I didn't win the dream home. Didn't get that. Um, Unfortunately, sometimes it's a hit or miss with things like this. I wanted to put it on there because I've been doing the dream home contest for years and years and I really wanted to win, but oh well. All right, so I put here fence house backyard, just a few little other things that I knew I wanted to do, which I'm gonna be getting to, uh, but those are nice little reminders for me. And I put the money there, of course. We always want our money to work for us. and never get enough of that. Now, to this. I ended up getting my second cabin. It does not look like the little, I do call it a cottage, but it does not look like this, however. It's actually a one bedroom, one bath, but it's big. I went for another mobile home on wheels because that was just a lot easier just because during COVID, prices inflated like crazy. So it would have been very hard for me to go this route and trying to enlist different contractors. It was already hard enough with the mobile home and trying to get someone to move it, um, but I did end up accomplishing it. So I do have my two cabins um, that I am going to make into a wonderful bed and breakfast. There are a few things that I do need to do because where my cabins are, they're very remote. And so I wanna make sure they are extra comfortable no little critters are inside of there and all of that kind of stuff. So it's a work in progress still, but I am not far off from making this entire vision board a reality. And we only have five more months left in the year. So let's see what so I have. Thank you so much for watching you guys. As you can see, I'm working diligently on my vision board. I hope you guys are working on yours too and that you will join me late December as we create our 2022 vision boards.